Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday, everybody. And happy free shipping day, friends. Hopefully you guys all know that the word is out that today is free shipping day. So come on into my studio, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping today, but of course I always have to do some housekeeping to make sure you guys are in the loop and you know exactly what is going on in Stamp World. And this is it. Today only, 24 hour flash sale, free shipping on orders of $50 or more. So, hi everybody, good morning. So yay, lots of friends are out there today ready to join me on this dreary Pennsylvania good, Pennsylvania good morning. I've already hit up the Walmart, I've already been to the butcher shop. If you guys are local to me, had to get in and get out quickly. They said there could be a 20% chance of snow and what that means around here is everybody is gonna lose their minds and all have to run to the grocery store. So I wanted to get in and get out early. So there we are. Okay, I see you guys. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping to show you what we did at my Just Cards class. That was in person yesterday, and I am getting ready to leave for my weekend retreat tomorrow, and everything is packed up. So this is all I can show you, because it's all I have. <laughs> everything else is going to be packed up in my car and ready to go on my retreat. So I do not, all my ink pads are even gone. My ink pads, my blends, everything's packed up. So, okay guys, just a quick reminder, if you're just coming on, free shipping today only, 24 hour flash sale. Of course, our last chance list is still going on. That is the items from our current July through December holiday catalog. We're losing a lot of these items. They're getting ready to retire and many of them are already sold out. So don't forget, if you're taking advantage of the free shipping, check out the last chance because you can add those items. You can also check and see what's left from our clearance rack refresh. Oh, I'm good, Betty. It, there's hard, There's no snow here. There may have been like three flakes, but you know when they call for it, you know everybody gets a little wigged out, especially because this will be our first snow of the season, but I don't think we're getting anything. It's really not even that cold out, so that's where I'm at right now. So... Um, quick thing here is if you guys are shopping, this is your special code for the 24 hour free shipping sale. Okay, so make sure you use that code right there whenever you log into my online store. And don't forget you guys, I'm giving you the poops. Do you guys all know that? I'm giving away the holiday poops. So if you have a $30 or more order between now and December 15th, these are my special little treats that you guys are getting. So they're going to be everything that you need except for your candy, right? You'll have to get your own candy, um, but you're gonna get a make and take kit using these. And then they are have little poop poems on the back for you guys. So you're gonna get those as well. And my UPS man is here, so yay for that. Breck made sure that you guys knew that the UPS man is here. So that's my special offer, $30 order, and you're gonna get the poops, and everybody wants the poops for Christmas. My gingerbread man is leaking sugar from his poop. So every time I move that box around, I get little sugar crystals. All right, so otherwise, what else do we have to share? You guys know it's 12 days of Christmas still going on, right? I'm seeing lots of you guys hanging out over on my private group, my Stamp with Jody B. So if you're not over there, head over there and ask to join because we have got the 12 days of giveaways going on. So every day at 8.30, there is a post. You're gonna look for that post every day for the first 12 days of December. Look for that post, like that post, and comment on that post. And if you've done that, you're gonna get entered to win the Daily Prize Patrol. Then, if you have done that every single day for all 12 days, somebody is going to win a $25 shopping spree. So make sure you head over there. The plan right now is that I will announce it December 14th, but I can tell you I'm on the fence with a vacation. So in the event that I am not accessible to the Wi-Fi, then um, I will let you guys know when I get back. So there's going to be 12 prize patrols and they will be announced sometime next week, depending on my vacation schedule. And then of course, real quick, don't forget about our December paper pumpkin kit. This one will be uh, able to, you can subscribe for to this one up until December 10th. 
So by the 10th and what's today? Today's the 8th, so just a couple more days to take advantage of our Lots of Pun Paper Pumpkin Kit. So while I have you guys on here, do I wanna, yes, let's do, all right, let's go ahead and say who won our prize patrol from last time. So every time I'm on, on Wednesdays, I give something away. Last time I was giving away the blue adhesive gems and our winner is Lou McGarity. So I don't know if Lou is on, but Lou, if you're here, this is coming your way. So congratulations, my dear. And then here is today's prize. It is the glitter organdy ribbon. So uh, this has been tough to get and I, I think it's still available. It's been in stock, out of stock, back ordered, inside, outside, upside down but I do have a roll of that pretty glitter ribbon. So all you need to do is like, love, and comment, and you get entered for a chance to win that. Come back next Wednesday, maybe. <laughs> I say maybe because I'm not sure where we'll be, and if I am uh, offline, I won't be able to announce it. So there might not be a Wednesday movie next week. We shall see what happens. So I know you guys are here to do some stamping, right? We're gonna do some non-Christmas stamping right now because I'm kind of over Christmas. I am ready to move on to new pretty fun things. I'm gonna wrap Christmas up at my retreat this weekend, get all my Christmas cards done and ready to go. But I'm ready to start playing with new stuff. So this is what we made in my class last night. And of course with just cards, we make two of every card. So we went with black and white this time. I love black and white, love it. One thing I did forget to tell you guys <clears throat> is about my class at home. So right now until December 15th, I have got a class at home. Every month my friend Connie and I do a virtual class. So there's no meeting for this class. Everyone's able to purchase it. We create PDF tutorials, video tutorials, whatever you need to create at home. And we include some product and then you guys can add in your stamp or your bundle or whatever we're focusing on. So this month we had chosen to do the Peaceful Cabin. The Peaceful Cabin is one of my favorites. I really am sad that this is leaving. Let's find it in here and see if we can show you. My nose is running. The Peaceful Cabin. I don't know what page it's on. There we go. This one. You guys love this one too, I think. So when we look here to see what's leaving, the bundle is leaving. We're gonna keep the snowy white paper. That's gonna come back next Christmas. We're gonna keep the timber folder. We're getting rid of the sequins. We're gonna keep the ribbon and we're getting rid of the paper. Now the paper has already sold out, you guys. Yeah, so it is not able to be purchased, which is a complete bummer because Connie and I did this amazing fun full class focusing on this suite. But we're gonna still do it because a lot of you guys have this paper. I know a lot of you have it and you're hoarding it and it needs to be cut up because it's so pretty. So I do have this fun fold class and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna create keeping in mind that you will not have the paper included, okay? So you'll have to use your own paper or use a different pattern, like maybe In Good Taste, um, the Simply Elegant, or even the Neutrals pack. You could use that uh, or use what you have. If you have Peaceful Cabin or Peaceful Place, let's get her out and let's cut her up. So this is a little diorama card, amazing. So you're gonna get everything you need to make two of these. Like I said, again, keep in mind, you won't have the paper, but we are including a roll of the mesh ribbon, a pack of the rhinestones, and a wink of Stella pen. And then it's a fun fold. So we're gonna give you video tutorials so that you know how to create this little stand up diorama card. Then we're going to do this beautiful accordion fold card. So you'll get everything you need to make two of these except the paper. So keep that in mind, friends. Okay, so we'll show you how to do that with even with that cute little belly band. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know lots of you guys like fun fold classes and we were so excited to show this off. And then we were like, are you kidding? We can't get the paper anymore, sniff, sniff. 
Then we have the side step panel card. So this is another one that will stand up and it's a side step panel. Now, <clears throat> so I'm so sorry, my guys, it's got some allergies brewing today. Um, I tried something a little different by using the shimmer crystal effects. So I thought, well, let's put that on the roof and see if it looks like snow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. It's mine has turned yellow and I think maybe it has it sat out and maybe sunlight did that. I thought it would be more clear and sparkly. So I didn't wanna include that in your package. So I included Wink of Stella instead because then you're gonna have that nice little shimmery glimmer and you won't have like this yellow, like it looks like somebody peed on their roof. It's yellow snow, we can't have that. So anyway, you're gonna get everything you need to make two of these cards. And then we have this cool double panel. So this pulls out on the side, you could put a little gift certificate in here and then you have your sentiment here on that side. So everything you need, video tutorial, you're gonna get um, the supplies to create two of each fun fold and you're gonna get this mesh ribbon, you're gonna get Wink of Stella and rhinestones with that class. So if you're interested in that, you are going to check the description of this video and I will have the link in there for you so that you guys can register. So I know I see so many of you saying you're sad that it's leaving. Me too, girls, me too. But we're gonna play with it up until the very end. Oh, don't we all, Betty? We all are wishing we would have grabbed more. So friends, now that I've talked enough, let's go ahead and create a card. So we have got our black, basic black card base here. We're just gonna fold that in half. Of course, we'll have our white for the inside. And then we're going to take some of this DSP here. I've got a little butterfly. I cut him out ahead of time. He just needs cleaned up a little. There we are, pretty butterfly. And then we have this designer series paper in black and white. Do you guys know where this comes from? It's a little quiz this morning. So these are four by one inch strips. And as always, when I'm done here, I'm gonna put the dimensions in the, in the description, excuse me, in the description of the video as well. So you don't have to keep rewatching for dimensions and such. You can just pull the video, pull the video up, click, the, the description of it and you'll be able to see um, the sizes of everything. So I've got a five and a quarter by four piece of white and I'm just going to attach these strips. So I'm gonna do two strips at the top and two strips at the bottom. And then we're gonna stamp in the middle. Yes, Betty got it, Betty's, Betty's on it. This is, I believe it's called Pick, Pick a Pattern. Yes, they are colored on the other side. So we've got black on one side, and then we have the colored strips on the other side. So you could do them colored if you wanted to, or I'm gonna go with the black and white because I am a big sucker for black and white. The other thing that you could do is you could do them all black and white, and then one of them you could flip over and have the colored. So this is a hostess pack. Betty is totally correct. This is, an, this is available for free, and it's a mega pack. Mega pack of designer series paper. So you can choose that as your host benefit when your order reaches $150, which is pretty cool. And today, free shipping. See how I'm working that in there? I'm working the crowd, warming you guys up. I have a big list. So see, we, we could do there if we wanted to was put that pop of yellow in there. But I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stick to my black and white. And I just bump these up. Now I have some that are kind of sticking off a little so I can give them a, give them a little trim here on the side. That one got a little longer than it was supposed to. So we'll just trim those off. Now I'm gonna do a thank you. I find that I need lots of thank yous, the thank yous these days. So I've got my Memento ink. Make sure that's good and juicy. And I'm just gonna do a thank you right here. Beautiful. And that's it, guys. How about that for easy?
Now, I wanted to show you that thank you came from the sweet ice cream. So this has some really cool, haha, cool sentiments in it. So I grabbed the thank you, but you could totally do that. Um, happy birthday too. Holy guacamole. Betty says free shipping's cool and in Oregon they don't have sales tax. So dang, you guys are making out today like little bandits. So the perfect time to shop. I know there's a couple other states that don't have sales tax too. So free shipping and no tax. What the what? What happened? I must have had ink on there somewhere. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover that smudge with a little butterfly. I see it right there. It's a little smudgy of ink. Flip that over. <clears throat> so how do we fix our issues? Well, we get ourselves a snot dot and we're going to put a butterfly right over that smudge. Only you guys will know it's there. Although, he's gonna have to kind of hang, hang off the edge just a little bit. There we go, so there's our pretty butterfly. And then just to have a little bling, we're gonna grab a black matte dot. You could put a sparkle dot on here too, that could be pretty. We need some more paste. And there we are. Very simple, very easy to recreate card. You could do this with all those little leftover strips of designer series paper. And then I just put that dot in the middle so my butterfly kind of looks like he's flying off the paper. Pretty, yes? All right, I have one more. No, I have two more I want to show you guys. If everybody's ready to hang in there with me, let me show you a couple more things. And I need to put some, get some things out of the way though. All right, so now for this one, we're gonna play with our Eden's Garden because I love it. I do love our Eden's Garden and it is going to carry over, but remember the designer series paper is leaving. So the DSP is gonna leave at the beginning of the month, January. And we need a base, all about that base. Okay, so we've got our card base here, basic white. Then I've got soft succulent, another basic white. We've got that designer series paper. Uh, we have a piece to stamp our flower on. And then there's where we're gonna go do our sentiment. So I'm gonna take my soft succulent and I'm gonna ink up that flower and stamp that. And then I'm gonna die cut that out in a little bit. But I wanna do my sentiment a little bit differently. So I wanna do it at an angle. So it's gonna cross my paper like this. So I took an eight and a half inch piece and I just cut it by, I think that might be one and a half or one and a quarter and we'll stamp my sentiment on. I'm gonna do that first, just in case I mess up. Then I can flip it over. And so all I need to do is just kind of line up corner to corner that designer paper. And then I'm just gonna stamp my dear friend. And that is in Evening Evergreen. So yummy, these papers. So now I'm gonna do some adhesive and I'm just gonna carefully go across that diagonal, kind of trying to make it as even as I can. And then I'm going to trim that off. And I, I just do it by hand. The key is you have to have paper longer than you think you need. 
And now I'm looking and I think this paper that I'm covering up is super pretty too. Oh, the guilt, the guilt. There we are. Okay. So now I'm gonna take this piece and mount that onto a piece of our basic white and we're ready to roll. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fussy cutting, but then that'll be it. There we are. Now that goes onto the soft succulent. This will go on to our card base. And then we're gonna fussy fuss this little piece out here. So grab your snips, take a little nap while I fussy cut. That's the downside to doing lives. I can't fast forward for you. Hello, friends who are just coming on. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We are creating some cards from my Just Cards class. We had it in person last night. So I got to have some of my stampers. Well, I should say yesterday, yesterday morning and yesterday evening, I got to have some of my in-person friends come hang out with me for a little while. So it's always so nice whenever my local folk can come and visit because it does get kind of lonely in here it's just me and the dog and then I get to do lives with you guys so I get to hang out with my phone friends from all over the country which is awesome but the one thing that having classes in person makes me do is clean my studio because let me tell you when you guys are not here oh my gosh this place becomes like a junk hole I have stuff on every table. I've got dog slobber on the counters because he lives in here with me, my office assistant. So I have to vacuum, wash the floors, wipe down the counters, do a little dusting. So that's a good thing, keeps me on track, right? All righty, almost done. There we go. So we'll grab ourselves some dimensionals couple little pop tarts here and there put a couple on we don't need two we don't need many so I'm just gonna use up all these little nubbins here and that's just going to hang out right here I like this sentiment I really think that's really a nice nice little sentiment and let's go ahead and grab some of these gems. So these are also leaving. And there's a lot of these. We should do something cool with these, shouldn't we? Let's see what I can do with these. All right. Are they going to work with me today? Can I do a flower, do you think? Like a... Will that work? No. No. It needs, it's going to need to go a little, hmm, can I scooch it over? Live TV, everybody. I'm, I'm going off script. She's going off script. I just kind of have an idea in my mind to make it like this, like this. <laughs> Is that going to work? Oh, it might. Let's see what happens. Come here, you. These remind me of cat cat eyes. Except my fingers and my picker tool aren't working so well today. Okay, I want them very straight. I'm talking to myself now. You don't have to answer. Oh, you were so close. There we go. How about that? The gems are not carrying over. No, Betty, I'm afraid not. The only thing that will carry over into the new catalog is going to be the stamp set and the and the uh, dies. So the paper, the DSP, 
designer series paper and the gems are not carrying over. So does that look cool? You know what I should have done? I should have put another gem in the center. You guys don't have anything going on. Let's keep playing. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can screw this up even more. Nobody's got anything going on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good choice, Breckbill. Like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. How about that, kids? There we are. Perfect. Neato burrito. Okay, now I've got another card to share with you guys. One more and then we're done. You can go about your business. I wasted way too much time playing with gems on a Wednesday. Perfect. Eek. I think that turned out so pretty. Okay. What else do we have? All right, hold on to your seats because this is about to get crazy. We are going to do straight up stamping, guys. We're going old school. Stamps, ink, and paper with this one. That's all we got. <clears throat> Stamps, ink, and paper. All right, Evening Evergreen, my favorite right now. So that's our base. Let's go ahead, and then I've got a piece of basic white, and that's going to be it. That's going to be it. So let's get stamping. All right, let me show you how many ink pads we're going to use. Boom, 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 boom. These are all the ink pads we're gonna use. Here come the stamps. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, if you gotta leave, it's okay. You can always come back and rewatch. I'll probably still be here stamping because look at all these stamps I'm getting ready to use. So this one is going to be a Christmassy-ish, but I thought if you're done with Christmas, kind of like I am, like you're kind of getting over it. I've been doing Christmas in my studio since August. So I'm, well, actually since July, we had a Christmas in July class. So I'm a little bit over Christmas. So you could take this exact card and you could change your sentiment, maybe make it birthday or thinking of you because it's kind of winter-ish. So what I chose was Christmas season and Christmas to remember. These are both going to carry over. So yay, yay for that. I do love the sentiments. Um, and we're gonna play with a lot of these stamps. So let's get stampy, shall we? Uh, we need a piece of scrap paper. So I might have to step off and grab one. I am going to do season's greetings just because I have a feeling there is going to be a farmer that comes to me on December 24th and says, do you have any Christmas cards? I need to give some to my staff. And I will be mad at him because this is how we do it every year. And I will be like, I've been making cards since August and you're just now coming to me on the 24th of December asking me for cards. And then I think, why am I mad at him? He does it every year. I should know. So I'm gonna have some spares on hand. Um, but I do need to find a piece of scrap paper. This will work fine. Now I do need to do my, my cards in Spanish. That's the only thing I can't, I don't, I don't prep them ahead. And I should do them because they need to be in Spanish for our employees. All right, we're going to start off with cinnamon cider and we're going to stamp ourselves some pine cones. So I start off, let me show you real quick in case you have this. So you have a big, a little one and a big one. 
Okay, so this is like your inside pine cone and this is your outside pine cone. This is the one that gives detail to uh, your pine cone. And I, I start with the dark first. That's just how I do. I like it that way because I'm, it makes me feel like I can see a little bit better. So I'm going to stamp that one in full strength cinnamon cider. And I'm going to do the same thing to my big pine cone. It kind of works the same way full strength. Then I can take the other stamp. This is called two-step stamping, guys. I'm going to stamp that off one time, and then I'm going to line up that pine cone over top of the one I just made. So can you see how the detail really comes out on that? It's pretty cool. So I'm going to do the same with my big one. You guys may have a different way, and that's okay, to each his own, but this just is what works for me, and I think it's part of being part of being the bifocal babes is that I need to be able to see that dark so that I can get my outline correctly. Okay, so that's it for our cinnamon cider. And now I did my red, so that was cherry cobbler, right? Cherry cobbler there. Now I'm gonna grab some old olive. And I'm gonna stamp one of those full strength. And then I'm just gonna scoot it over and do the other one without inking it back up and it's just gonna be a little bit lighter. So there we go, we have two shades of that. That's called second generation stamping if you wanna get really particular. If I'm teaching Stamping 101 here, you're taking a class with me that we call that second generation stamping. Two-step stamping, second generation stamping. There's your first generation, your second generation. That will be on the quiz later, everybody. Write it down, take your notes. I'm gonna do a evening evergreen right here. I'm gonna do some wispies with my soft succulent. They're gonna go right here. Now I've got early espresso and I'm gonna do my stems. So I've got some stems coming uh, here. Some of these ink pads are gonna need juiced up. They've been working hard this week. And then here, now I need my cherry cobbler again. Actually, while I have my succulent open, nah, I'm gonna go with Evening Evergreen because I can do the two steps or the uh, generational stamping. So I'm just gonna do a couple These are just little, little splotches here, kind of. Just a couple little dots there, and I just did it without re-inking. Now we need some red for our cherries or berries or whatever these might be. And I'm gonna line them up as best I can. And that just really pulls in that little pop of red. It's just perfect. There we are. Lots of stamping, no die cutting, no embossing. Just good old stamps, ink, and paper. Isn't that pretty? And you could see how easily you can make this a birthday card or a thinking of you card. Super, super easy. Just get out those stamps, those inks, and those papers. There we are. And then, of course, you guys know everything's better with bling. So let's put a couple little gems on here. There we go. You could even do red gems, that would be pretty. And then, 
because I can. I'll pretty up my inside too. So let's add a brown stem and a red berry. And that's gonna be it, y'all. Hey, Barbie, I see that you're on. Did you get your catalog yet? Did your new catalog arrive to you? I've been hoping it did. I know some of them are still in the mail. So that's gonna be our inside. I can sign that then and have a little pretty on the inside. So card number one. And where's the other ones? Where did I put them? Card number two. My last card number three already. Found it, card number three. So if you guys are just on join in, we just did very, very simple cards. This is from my Just Cards class. So I wanted to show you what we created so no one misses out on anything. So there we go, my friends. Don't forget, today only, we have got that free shipping offer. So $50, your $50 order, and you are going to get free shipping. And you can hop right over to my online store and shop anytime by midnight tonight. So don't forget, by midnight tonight, um, to take advantage of free shipping. And then, of course, if you have a $30 purchase, I have the poops. So we've been talking about this this week. These are the cute little make and takes that you're going to get. And you'll get the PDF tutorial. You'll get the supplies to make. All you need to do is add in your um, little candies. And then you'll even get the poems that go on the back. So we have gingerbread man poop, elf poop, snowman poop, and deer poop. So super fun, cute little treats. Your family, your kids, your grandkids, your friends, they're going to love them. All right, my friends. Don't forget, take advantage. It's one of the best deals that we have going on. All right, everybody, have a wonderful week. I'm not sure if I will see you guys next week. I will definitely know. let you know as soon as I know what's going on. We are trying to go away on a vacation, but things are not really planning out the way that they should. So sometimes when you have a farm, you know, things just don't always go as planned. So we're going to see if we can get out of here, but I'll keep in touch if I'm going to be able to come on and visit with you guys or if I'm offline for a week, which that would be okay too. All right, my friends, have a great week. Thanks for visiting.